Hey, what's up, hello? My name is Alexis, and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that I have accumulated for my first college apartment. And as a spoiler, it's a lot of stuff, and I have completely demolished my room. My mom had organized and put away everything that we've gotten so far in the garage, and um, I just took everything out and put it in my room just for you guys. So please like the video. <laughs> So I'm going to be breaking this video up into four, maybe five sections just so it's like a more cohesive manner. Like I'm going to be breaking it up into the different sections of the living space. So the first one I'm going to be covering is the bed, then the desk, then the bathroom, the kitchen, and those are my four main ones. And if I have some extra stuff, I'll just throw it in miscellaneous for my fifth topic. And I'll make sure to put in like the timeline area down at the bottom so you guys can just skip to whatever part you may need to look over again. Also, as a quick side note, I'm not going to be really going over like decoration kind of things just because I have way too many things and I honestly don't know what I'm taking yet and like I don't really want to buy new decoration kind of things like I feel like I'm just going to pull things from my room and put them in my new room. The last thing I want to say before getting into showing you guys everything I will be trying to link everything that I got in the description below but there are a lot of things that I can't link because I either got them from like Ross or from the thrift store or my mom just gets me random things from random people and I don't know where she got them or they got them. <laughs> But a lot of stuff I did get from Amazon, so I will be linking those in the description for you guys. So let's just go ahead and get this video started. The first topic I'm going to be covering is my bed. So for my inspiration for my bed, I actually got it from Valky Ray, who is a YouTube streamer. If you know her, I'll insert a picture of like her background. And I don't know what it was, I just loved her the the color of her bed and how she like the decorations in her room just went with the bed so I kind of went off of that but I kind of also didn't go off of that and I'll talk about that a little bit later so starting with the first thing I have a cotton duvet full set kind of thing um, I got the color like I said to match the kind of bed sheet that Valky Ray had and this is just the duvet in two pillowcases and it's from the brand Jelly Mani so there's the brand name I got this one off of Amazon and it is a full size because the bed in the apartment is full so that's the first thing I got so then I have the actual bed sheets which comes in this really cool box I don't know I went with a kind of silky I think it was bamboo technically yeah it's like a bamboo kind of sheets I have no clue um, I just really liked the color and I thought it would go well you see I think it went well so I have this as my bed sheets and they are actually really soft but I also have a second pair of bed sheets that I got and this also goes pretty well together my mom got me this from I don't know where but they're also bamboo sheets I don't know anything about bamboo sheets I just know I didn't want cotton or microfiber bed sheets because I get way too hot and if I'm too hot I can't sleep comfortably so I went with like I wanted more like a silky kind of thing so that's why I got these bamboo sheets I don't know how they're going to work out we'll see and obviously it can't be a bed without the pillows so I just got these two random pillows from I think it wasn't pottery bond it was old time pottery I don't know if that's like a chain store or not but it, it was pretty cheap there, so. So I got these soft microfiber polyester fill, and I got it in the size standard queen, standard slash queen. Um, like I was talking about, like the microfiber thing, I don't know if these pillows are gonna get hot, but I really hope they don't. It, it like feels very breathable, so I'm hoping it won't get hot, but they were just, they were just so fluffy, so I feel like they'll be fine. I also got this gray body pillow cover. I think it's silky, I believe. I don't know. I was, again, I was trying to find something that wasn't going to be too hot because the other body pillow cover that I had was just like, like really fluffy and it just got way too hot. So I got a silky kind of one. The last thing I have are these decorative pillows. I have two of them. The other one's over there. And they're really soft and plushy. And this is like actually the first thing that I got for my room. And I saw them and I was just like, oh, those are the colors that I kind of want. But I didn't have the bed sheets yet. So they're kind of like matching. They're kind of like the same color. So I don't know 
how that's going to look. So moving on from the actual bed to the things kind of surrounding it. I wanted a rug to put like right whenever you step off of the bed. But rugs are so expensive. I don't know why. So me and my mom went to that old time pottery place. And they, were, they had a lot of rugs and everything was really cheap. But there was just like nothing that like I wanted or the kind of style that I was looking for. And so I found this. And it's not that wide, if I can back up a little bit, yeah. So it's not that wide, right? But it's also not that long. So what my mom did for me, my mom is so smart. Like, I don't know how she thinks of these things, but she just thinks of these things. And then she does them. But, <laughs> but she took two of these and sewed them together. Smart, so smart. And each of these were like... I think 12 or 14 dollars so instead of buying a seven foot area rug for a hundred dollars we bought them for like thirty dollars and she just sewed them together and then she kept going and then put these like non-slip things on the back she sewed these to the back so you know my mom is the goat here honestly i wouldn't have been doing anything correctly if it wasn't for her i really like this rug because it kind of matches with the bed and it also has white accents so it's cute with it but it won't like be too pink but it probably will be too pink i don't know but this thing is over seven feet long now because we sewed them together so it's going to go from like the wall past the bed so it's cool i love it thank you mom <laughs> the next thing i have is actually a window curtain and again my mom did this see like this is what i mean by i can't really link everything in the description because a lot of these things my mom like made like physically made or just bought randomly and like at like a thrift store or something and just made them like repurposed them to make them look better so my mom went with her friend to a hotel clause close out sale thing i don't know like it was just a warehouse full of things from a hotel that they needed to get rid of and it was really cheap so my mom got this beige curtain and it's like really heavy and like really thick so no light is going to come through whenever i close the blinds and no one else can peek in and then she went in and sewed these things into it so they can go through the pole thingy. And then she also added this detail down at the bottom just to tie it all together. And like, this woman is a genius. <laughs> so like I said with the color, I thought it would go good together, pink and beige. And also, I saw Valkyrie have pink and beige all in her room. <laughs> I actually forgot to go over two more parts for the bed. The first one being a comforter insert. So this is actually what's going to go inside the duvet cover to make it all fluffy and stuff. And I got this one off of Amazon for I think like $20 and it said it was like lightweight and not super hot which is what I need. And I also have this Lucid Gel Memory Foam Mattress Topper and it's a 3 inch. So moving on to the next topic which is my desk slash shelf area. I didn't say the slash shelf earlier because I didn't think about it then but now I'm going to be putting it here. <laughs> so my apartment actually comes with a desk in each bedroom which is great so I didn't have to actually worry about buying a desk. But I also whenever I was touring the apartment, the desk wasn't that big. So I need a bit more space. So I figured I'd buy this. I'll insert a picture on the screen obviously so you can have a better idea. But I was just thinking of like putting my laptop up here like whenever I am like actually like doing like homework or stuff like that. I can put my laptop up here and then um, I'd be able to store like my iPad in this middle one and then whenever I have my laptop up here obviously I need a keyboard because I can't type when I'm over here so I'll put the key I'll store the keyboard in the mouse under here and because I got that I obviously needed a keyboard because I didn't have a separate keyboard and again I just got this off of Amazon from like the Amazon Prime Day deals it's completely wireless like completely wireless you don't have to plug in the little USB thingy into the into your laptop or anything and it's actually not white I actually got the black version and I didn't buy a mouse because I already had a Bluetooth wireless mouse I don't even know why I had one honestly but I have one but I did buy a mouse pad I got this like dark pink kind of color to go with the pinkish aesthetic and I wasn't really trying to go for super uber pink aesthetic it just kind of ended up that way so it's pretty long um hopefully it'll fit and then I'll just be able to put the keyboard on top of here and just you know because I whenever I was using that keyboard 
uh, the keyboard would slide around a lot so I figured this would help as well as you know being a mouse pad so that's all I got for my desk obviously there's a lot more things gonna go on my desk like I said my laptop and my monitor and my PlayStation and things like that and my iPad but obviously I didn't buy those uh, just recently so it's not going to be in this haul. If the ramming looks a little bit different, I had to change my camera battery, so I don't remember how I exactly I had it. <laughs> so moving on to the shelf, I can't actually show you the shelf uh, because it's not built yet. <laughs> it's still in the box and I'm just going to build it when I get to the apartment. So I just bought a plain white like ladder shelf and honestly, I like I was I had my heart set on having a ladder shelf. A plain white ladder shelf, ladder shelf because I was watching this one YouTuber uh, do a room tour and she showed hers off and it just looked really cute and everything. But I didn't think about the color scheme of the room. And I should have stuck with my gut with getting the one that looked like the one that Valkyrie Ray has in her room. So the one Valkyrie Ray has is like brown with like kind of black legs but mine is just full white and I'll insert a picture of it. I got it from Lowe's a couple months ago and I also should have went with the other one because I got a night like a night bed stand thing that is also that same color black and brown. So it wasn't very smart on my part and I'm kind of upset with it and the ladder shelf was really an impulse buy. <laughs> but I really only have two things to show you guys as to what I'm going to be putting on the shelf because I just really don't know yet. And one of them is this series of books. Uh, it is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. And I'm also going to be taking some of my other favorite series that I have. And I also got a little alarm clock. <laughs> It's a tiny little baby alarm clock. I'm not going to turn it on right now because I uh, too much effort. But like I find myself so often like when I'm changing or like in a rush in my room or something. Like I don't have my watch on because I just got out of bed and like my phone is just somewhere in my room. And so I'm just like, hey Siri, what time is it? And then hey Siri doesn't work that often. Obviously because she's not saying anything to me right now. So she, when I say, hey Siri, what's the time? She never responds to me. And so I just I just want to know just like look at one designated area and know I can see the time so that's why I got this so that's it for the desk slash shelf section and let's go ahead and move on to the bathroom section so moving on to the bathroom area uh, each room has their own private bathroom which is so great I love that so I really needed like everything for the bathroom. So the first thing I have is this three tier tower shelf kind of thing. Um, I went with like this kind of marbly white thing with this gunmetal accent. I got this from Ross and it was $18. There's the little price tag. The next thing I have is a shower caddy. It comes with two shelves and a little place to put like bar soap. I, it's gunmetal as well so it went with the little thing and so I figured I did good with matching this time. Honestly I don't think all my stuff could fit on here and I'm also sharing with my boyfriend whenever he does come over. So you know, we'll, we'll see how it works. I also got this from Ross and it was $11. So the next thing I have is like this marble toothbrush slash toothpaste holder thing it's just a little holder and I also got this from Ross oh it's upside down also got this from Ross for five dollars so it's cute and it also matches the trash bin so I figured I was just doing so good with the the, the, the three tower tier thing and this and this like I just I it went along so well. So obviously I got this from Ross as well and it was $15. And then I actually just got this today. I got some hand soap from Bath and Body Works. But I got this fresh rainfall hand soap. So the next thing I have is this plush bath rug. And it's a set of two. And it just looks like this. And it's really, really soft. So it comes with a small one. Which I, go, I, which I guess goes in front of like the toilet. And then it comes with a larger one that goes in front of the shower. And I got this from Old Time Pottery, which was $18. So next thing I have is just this tub mat. It's just like that you put it in the bathtub so you don't slip and fall. And I also got this from Old Time Pottery for $10. So the next thing I have is this shower curtain liner. It's just this sheer kind of plasticky kind of part to the curtain. Um, it's so like water doesn't get out everywhere outside of the bathtub and I also got this from old time pottery for five dollars the next thing I have is the actual shower curtain and I thought it was really cute it has like pinks and blues and white and silver which I figured just it just went with 
the entire apartment. My mom found this for me at um, Burlington Coat Factory and this was $15. And the last thing I got for the bathroom and the last thing I got for the shower is the shower curtain holders. So they're called shower hooks and I got I also got these from Burlington Coat Factory for $5 and they're just really cute and simple. I forgot to mention my towels. Like that's also important. I got two pink towels for myself and then I have two gray towels for my boyfriend. Again, if the angle and position is different, I'm sorry. I had to move my camera again. <laughs> for the kitchen section, we're not going to have a miscellaneous section. A lot of these things I actually bought from I actually got from thrift stores and my mom got from like a church drive or something and that we just had and also we got some things from Walmart. So, I don't really think I can link anything in the description for the kitchen for the kitchen section, but it's easy to find kitchen things like at Walmart or Target or anything. So these are just the things that I have accumulated. See, like, like with this, it looks, the box looks so weird and it just says maroon silverware, new, exclamation point. So this is just a 20 piece set of fork spoons and like butter knives, but I have measuring cups, uh, measuring cups, measuring spoons, measuring things, measure things to measure things with from, um, Burlington Coat Factory as well and it was on clearance for $1.50. The next thing I have are these cups. These like, they're not glass but they're like really heavy duty um, plastic. Uh, my mom just ended up getting these from like a church drive thing. They just gave them to her and so she gave them to me because obviously I need cups. And then I got these little containers from the Dollar Tree from like the school section and I just have random things inside like this one has nail polish but it also has a potato peeler in there that's kitchen-esque kind of things and I got this because I don't know what I'm going to be using with this one with the blue one but for this one I have all my tea bags in here so I have like green tea and chamoyo, chamoyo, tea, whatever and then I have a plastic spatula and a wooden spoon kind of thing to make my my pasta. I also have a can opener because your girl is going to be struggling with food and probably going to be eating a lot of ramen and things out of cans. The next thing I got is this pan it's a skillet or a fry pan. I don't know which one it is. I got the pan itself from Walmart, but my mom found a, a lid. I'm not going to take it out because she put it, she tied it and everything. She found a lid underneath the sink where we have all our things. And so she just gave me the lid as well. <laughs> and then I have this mixing bowl that has like a non-slip thing that my mom got me from the thrift store. So, because I like to make cakes. And so she got me this because she thought it was cute. And then I have a big, big pot, big, big, big pot. I also got a big pot. Um, probably gonna use this for like pasta and like whenever I want to fry my French fries. Do people? Do you guys make French fries like frozen French fries, or do you like actually peel and cut the potato and fry them? Cause I peel, cut the potato, and fry them, and people are just like, "Why? Why don't you just buy frozen potato French fries?" I'm like, I don't know, just cause. I've always made french fries that way. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> my mom found this at Goodwill. So, yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the part that I'm more excited about, which is like the p plates and bowls that I got from Walmart. So, I got two big plates and they're just like these kind they're just plain beige, but they also got like this brown trimming around it. And then I got a smaller version of that same plate. I think it was called a salad plate, but I also got this plate. And it's just this polka dot black and white with gold rimming around it. And it is just so cute. So it just, and it just went together well with this. And my mom had to convince me not to get the same one of all this because it would be just clashing too much. And then I also got the beige with brown bowl. And also <laughs> this bowl, it's so cute. And I got two of everything because it's one for me and then one's for my boyfriend. And the last thing I have is a blender that I also got from my grandparents' house when they moved out. Um, so it's a really nice blender. It's very small, but I usually only use the blender to make protein shakes or if I want to start making smoothies. So that's all the things that I've accumulated for my first college apartment. Hopefully you got some inspiration or added some things to your list, but that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and also subscribe if you're new.